as dawn broke over the Easter Bank holiday, the hardy team from Autospray and QRS headed into the Highlands of Scotland on a mission. Their aim was to see if drones could be used to help foresters reintroduce native tree species to some of the harshest terrain imaginable. Despite the rugged terrain and the gusty 20 mile an hour plus winds, the trusty XAG P40 performed flawlessly. Let's hear what the forester in charge had to say about this project. Well, that's been uh, quite an exciting morning. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself and maybe we can work out why we're up a mountain? <laughs> sure, so I'm, I'm Ed Townley, I'm a forester, and uh, it's my job to get some temperate rainforest back on this windy hill on, on the west coast of Scotland. And where exactly are we then? We're um, on the Moidart coast, uh, the, those islands out there are, are rum and egg uh, and that sky over there and we're near the township of Rochefan. So what, temperate rainforest up here? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, a long time ago, maybe even 5,000 years ago, there would have been rainforest on, on the majority of, of what you can see here where it's, it's currently bare um, and we've got rid of that over time through a mix of burning and overgrazing um, and, and just mismanagement really. So Ed, you invited us up with the uh, trusty P40 here. What is it you were hoping to achieve? Well, the main reason we wanted to use the, the drone is we're sort of trying to replicate nature in, in the way of, of restoring this land. At the minute, the, the condition it's in with the soil and, and as you can see the wind, um, it's, it's very tricky to create forest here. It's, it's tricky to put it back. Um, what we, we think we need to do in that case is, is start with the species which colonise naturally and those are species which, which disperse their seed via the wind. So we wanted to start with these, these species and replicate what would be happening in, in the first stages of woodland colonisation and that's why we wanted to use the drone. So we're, we're, we're spreading a mix of wind cast seed um, that will make up the pioneering species that will really get the ground moving and get the rainforest restored. So we've been planting the pioneering species. What are those? So in the mix we cast today, we've got primarily birch, rowan and alder. Um, and then we've got in smaller quantities some Scots pine and some aspen uh, and some willow as well. Um, and the idea with that is, is the the species that are more tolerant of the wet ground, like the willow and alder, will come up in the areas that are slightly wetter, and the species like Scots pine will do better in the rockier areas. And we've tackled three different areas today as a trial. What is it that you're, what's the next step for you? So in about May or June, we're gonna come back up here um, with some helpful volunteers, hopefully, and we're gonna survey what, what's come up this year. Um, if we get the results that we're sort of hoping for, which is about a 1% survival rate of, of, the, of the seed that we've put down, um, we'll move forward into phase two of, of the project, which is doing this whole land area, hopefully, hopefully and next year. How much, how much area is that? It's about 300 hectares. Right, that's um, quite a bit. Yeah, it's a lot, lot to be done. Um, but and, yeah. and this area behind us is the flattest of the three areas we've tackled. Yeah, it's going to be tricky ground. I mean, I, th I think that's, the people have said to us when we've mentioned the project, they said, you know, is the drone just, just for attention? You know, is it, is it trivial? Is it, is it superficial? But I think completely not. I, I think like looking at the ground as it is, you know, this landscape, it, it's virtually impossible to, to get a crew of team up here planting or casting seed themselves. You'd never get a tractor up here. You know, it's, the, it's really the only, only way we can do this efficiently. Even the six by six buggy has broken its yeah, steering exactly, and yeah. up here. So <laughs> yeah. we're now going to carry yeah. the drone down. Yeah. So uh, the aerial route is, has a big advantage, I think. How will you measure success with this project? So we're aiming for um, successful woodland establishment, which is at the minimum sort of 1,600 stems per hectare, but we're hoping for a, for a bit more for dense woodland. Um, if, we, if we see that either this summer or, or next summer, then we'll see that as a success, definitely, because it, it will be a lot cheaper than, than the conventional planting methods for this area. What challenges will the trees face up here? Yeah, definitely wind. Um, as I say, we're, we're, so we're north facing, which is a big advantage. The main problem would be if um, it gets too hot in, in the next week or so, um, and the seeds get burned off before they get a chance to root and, and have a sort of water source. 
Um, so that's the main thing we're worried about. Um, wind, definitely, but um, you know they're, they're hardy, the pioneering Any species. Predators? That's, that's their job. Predators, not so much. Uh, I think the seeds are so so small that that they, they won't. You know, there are are voles and, and deer up here, but um, th I mean that's that's yeah. I guess when once they grow up beyond sort of the grass height, that will be our main worry is the deer. But we'll hopefully have a fence. A, a perimeter fence in here by, by the end of this year. So, Well, Ed, <laughs> thanks for inviting us up to the most scenic place we've ever done uh, a job. It was also the most challenging place yeah, we've so ever done a job. Hand hand, hey. So uh, we look forward to getting down the hill, getting something to eat yeah. and uh, getting the drone safely packed up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rob. Cheers. Cheers. Nice one.